Rescue's Heaven Farm. Today we're going to make extracts. Um, I did some research and some reading and watching some videos and things like that. It's pretty simple. I've never done it before, so <laughs> I'm going to take you on this journey. Um, I got my uh, vanilla beans in. Um, there's 11 in here. So, um, I'm just going to put them all in this quart jar. And then I've been saving little jars that have the button top lids just in case, you never know. So, um, I'm going to be using those for making extracts. We're going to do a coconut one, and then we're going to do a coffee one. And then later on down the road, um, I'll do like an orange and, um maybe some of uh, my spearmint and mint that I have in the in the garden so we'll see how it goes and six to eight weeks is the first time you taste it and see if it's taken on the flavor that you like you can use it then and bottle it or you can wait six months um, to where it has the full-on flavor and we are using vodka today. Um, I also did some reading where you can use um, water and glycerin. It's a vegetable glycerin. So, um, yeah, if you don't want to do the alcohol, which is fine. Um, what I read and watched, um, it takes a little bit longer than the alcohol version. But um, this is my first time doing it, so... I'm going to try it this way and see how I like it and then maybe um, later on I'll do one with glycerin so the same same flavors and we'll go from there okay right. okay the first one we're going to do is the vanilla bean get it out of the packaging and we're going to um, cut them and we're going to slit, slit them down the middle and put them in our quart jar. And I'm, I'm also thinking way ahead of time for like maybe uh, Christmas presents, even though, you know, yeah, I know it's only February, but wouldn't that be a nice gift to give somebody? So I'm going to. Gently slice these. And cut them in half. A little bit. And what was said that it's really good if you can get some of the Whoop, can't see over there, but some of the vanilla bean flavor in your extracts when you're cooking. So, yeah, why not, right? So, I'm just making sure that I got this open. And... I'm going to plop, plop them in. And I'm using all, all the vanilla beans that came in that pack, which is, I think it says 11 on it, which is good. And then I'm cutting them in half so they'll fit in the jar. And also what I read and watched that... The vanilla bean can last forever doing it this way and once you bottle it and everything you can pour more um, vodka on it and it'll go for another batch it's just continuous you can add more vanilla beans if you like you maybe even switch it up and do a bigger jar if you you know if you like it. So 
So, yeah, why not? Right, I'm trying my hand at this. I like new, doing new things. That's, this is kind of like, like a craft, right? But it's with food. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I, you know, I've never done this. And let me know if you guys have done it before. And if I'm doing it properly. But yeah, these vanilla beans smell really, really great. And they're really spendy. These are Madagascar Grade A vanilla bean. This is the ones that I got. And I got them off at Amazon. I've looked at other places and they were really expensive and I'm like, ooh, this might not be a good idea. But I'm splitting every one of them so I can make sure I get all these nice delicious seeds out. This is kind of fun. You know, this time, this day and age now with this pandemic thing going on, and we gotta help each other discover things and how to do it on ourselves and maybe get back to some normal see I guess. I've still been working. As they consider me an essential employee because I work at a grocery store. And yeah. Alright so we got our vanilla beans in there. And we're going to open up this vodka. Take out this little, this little gizmo here, and we're going to give it an inch headspace. And vodka is odorous, odorless, and doesn't have a flavor. So, you'll just taste the vanilla bean. And, um, I got these little lids. You can get them at any of your supplies, uh, where you get your canning supplies at. Or you can order them off eBay, Amazon, Etsy. I got some that are colored. And they have like a little seal, little seal in there Sam so I'm just going to shake it up a little bit maybe get the thing going a little and we'll do this from time to time and there's some little seeds floating around in there so that's exciting so in 68 weeks We'll uh, come back. I'm going to make a little label for the top of this. So I know what it is. And our next little jar. This is just some. I think it was a spaghetti sauce jar I had at one time. And. Let's see. Well. Hopefully. I have enough. I might have to do smaller jars because I don't have I don't think I have enough to do everything with these bigger jars. So 
Hold on. Okay, we're just going to go and see what we have. Wow. Always have to run back to the liquor store, but that was kind of a weird experience going in the liquor store. I don't really drink. Okay, this is unsweetened shredded coconut. And we're going to fill the jar a little bit more than halfway. This package was an eight ounce package. Okay, and then for this guy, and for this guy, since it's a metal type of lid, I'm going to put the sandwich bag over top of it so the alcohol doesn't hit the metal lid and contaminate it. And then I'm going to just shake it up. Get her all mixed up. You know, and you can use these extracts for cakes, icing. Put them in your drinks for flavoring. So this coconut one might taste pretty good. And the next one is coffee. And these are some espresso coffee beans I had on hand and we're going to do this guy a little bit more than halfway and with coffee beans and coconut it has some fat they have like some fat in it so you want to really check on to make sure uh, they don't go rancid within a year um, before you decan it. But in six to eight weeks, we will um, check these and give them a taste. Maybe I'll do another video on that. Uh, let me know if you want to see that and see what it tastes like. And then at six months, we'll check them again. So. I'm pouring in the rest of the vodka, and I think I'm going to have enough. Yep, yeah, oh, I got a little bit left, so that's good. And, you know, they have floated. And I'm going to do the same thing with the bag. And mix it all up.
there you have it. We're going to make labels and we will date them. We know what they are and we'll come back. Okay, so guys, I got some painter's tape here. And we're going to make vanilla. And today is 2 3.21 and we're going to put that on the jar and coffee Two, three, twenty-one, and coconut. Okay guys, that's our little journey that we did today. Making our extract and we'll revisit it in six to eight weeks. And I'm, they're going to go into the pantry in a dark, darker spot and we'll bring you back. And we'll try this out. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Share the video on your social medias. And uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps uh, YouTube place me in certain areas. Um, higher on, on the charts. Anyway, thanks a lot guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye now.